I'm not sure about this C4 anymore, so maybe why it is to play it in a bit a bit trickier way than a rookie one if it's a, if it's a good idea because eventually some knight g4 might be played with a tempo so let's say in the case of rookie one which maybe is gonna support c5 see e5 then knight e3 I guess it's gonna be like that knight e7 then eventually white is preparing c3 c4 so white has to has to defend the pawn on d2, on b2, sorry, queen d2, castle, and then c3, c4. Well, then I'm not sure about this castle. The knight c3, then, and so on. So, black may get under some positional pressure in this case. So, that's the current situation here this game and has been has been said already so we as we know that ladies like to think a lot during the first tower we don't expect a lot of moves to be played so it's not only about the opening preparation but as well about the psychology who who is trapping whom who's who, pre who prepared what well then coming back to Alexandra Kostinu Kviskulis Anna Kpaeva the d3 bishop g7 was played as we said uh, bishop f4 and then knight h6 at once guess yeah perhaps that that is more precise because in the life uh, in the line I've mentioned after castle h3 g4 and both knight uh, well bishop is still restricted on g7 but the worst is this knight on h6 which is stuck at the edge of the board so Black decides to retreat at once, then his well perhaps I can call it a threat to play bishop g4 to get rid of this bishop because bishop is not really doing much. The white is sort of forced to play h3 and the knight f5 is possible at least bringing the knight to d4. All in all, black seems to be seems to be rather solid here. If black gets knight to d4 then it's just okay. Uh, well, knight e4 was the move of Alexandra Kostinyuk, so she... Okay, at the moment she attacks... No, not attacking c5, so this bishop g4 is possible actually, as knight c5 runs under this unpleasant check. So, black can play bishop g4. Though it's still not clear what to do after h3. That maybe it's not a not the best idea ever to give away this bishop is then I'd say okay knight f five seems natural seems natural and then white just can play c three and again this knight is not superbly placed and h five is one of the one of the threats here with knight take oh g four is one of the threats here and h five then the other threats will be revealed. Knight takes c5, and there isn't any check anymore. The so knight e4, and still black has to be careful a bit. Black has to be careful. Uh, then, once again, moving to. Okay, Juvin Jun with Chao Xu. Now, this Catalan position we've seen. Uh, well, now tc4 wasn't the case actually, because eventually after castle we remember Zhao Xu thinking for quite a bit and she decided she's switching to, to the other line, bishop e7 in, in which to be honest, okay so it's so-called so -called closed Catalan the queen c2, c6, exactly what it is, but basically it has to be with the pawn on a7 and then black to move and I'm pretty much sure a5 is by far not the most popular. So there is b6, there is knight d7, but with pawn being already on a5, black can't can't really uh, so has much much uh, broader well the opposite. Sorry, so but black also almost doesn't have a choice. So bishop f4. Uh, actually. Actually, I'm not sure about this bishop f4, so maybe white had to, had to 
spawn this. So at least it gives Black a clear option. Uh, wh what to do? Bishop f4, knight d7, rook d1, and then knight h5. So asking if if White is ready to to give away this bishop, or uh, White wants this bishop to to retreat back to c1 or d2. Actually, White still can play something like bishop c1, b3, bishop b2, trying to get e4 lately. In this case, perhaps, Black can also consider to go into stonewall, stonewall setup, and as in this stonewall, this a5 might be just, just to the point. That might be quite useful. Also, knight h5 doesn't seem to be a loss of a tempo in this case. Perhaps black can, can hope to get a 5f4 in some stage. So, knight h5, anyway, it looks like a normal Catalan, this one. The bishop on e3, I mean, to, re to retreat to e3 doesn't make, doesn't make much of a sense. Bishop d2, well, in case of bishop d2, at least black just can, back to, uh, can play back the knight to f6. Is that and just waiting for White uh, to reveal his plans? That looks pretty solid for bra for Black anyway. So that's the current situation here. Of course, it's always an option to to give away this bishop, but once Black didn't defy the structure in the center yet, it shouldn't be much of a trouble for him. For instance, Knight. Knight c3 can be played, but then black's just gonna take, and there is an option to take the pawn on c4 actually. Knight d2 is met with knight b6, and so far black didn't even win the pawn back. Oh, sorry, white didn't win the pawn back, and as the d4 is sort of fainting, so e3 has to be played. Black should be should be just in time with with some counter play. Perhaps f6, e5. Even black can black can hope for. But well, maybe that's the that's gonna bring out the the most strategically complicated game after knight c3. So definitely a possibility. Then at the moment it's knight h5 and and black to move. Back to Lagno with Stefanova, I guess. So the game on our screen. Queen f6. Ah, oh well, no, no news so far from Stefanova with Lagno. Katerina thinking that this Queen f6 must have been a new move for him. Meanwhile, Humpy Proton produced something. Uh, well, e3, knight b6. Then h3 has been played. A bit of a surprise. H3. This way, at least, White is White is fighting developing of this bishop, so bishop cannot step to g4. And it turned out after g7, g6, at which I'm actually still not sure. Okay, g6 is called to to play the bishop to f5. So after g6, White produced g2, g4, knight g7, the knight is going to e6, yeah, so supports h5 or f5 in some cases. Still it's pretty much complicated. So eventually white's gonna play bishop d3.
Meanwhile, Colnero is Harika. So, after b5, White eventually went for the only remaining idea to play for a win, which we already mentioned, e4. So, well, looks logical to capture for for black, fe4, king e4, and then this. Yeah, actually, that was just played fe4, e4, uh, king e4, and then I suppose rook e7. The move I mentioned. Well, I guess it will be played here. But of course, black needs to calculate all the. Uh, what's going on after rook e5, so let us try to do the same, king d6, but now honestly I don't see any trouble for black here, because black really has a con to play c4, a5, and so on. The first of all, maybe white is to play h5, so that's an interesting option, trying to advance this pawn as far as possible. Black black can play c4, king d4, mm, and perhaps h6. So I'm still not sure who is, who is winning here, <laughs> if any. So king c5 doesn't seem to be likely. Takes, test, king f5, king g5, and who's faster? G b4 takes b5 king g4 a4 h5 it looks like queens are coming at the same time yeah king g5 b4 a4 b ups b5 h5 a5 h4 b6 yeah that means white is winning actually oh no it's not h4 it's king h4 h4 b6 yeah that means white is winning well i don't know how we <laughs> it's uh, still far f far away from reality as at the moment we have mm, this position e4 f4 e king e4 and uh, well and conero played f4 f5 I'm still not sure if that was that was needed to 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 do so. But Harika responded with King e5. So then White is practically forced to play f6. King f6. Rook takes c5 and Rook e5. So obviously, in pawn end game is well shouldn't be worse for Black. That's for sure. Then Rook c6 checks. King g7, rook a4, uh, rook a6, a4, rook b6, and rook h5. White plays king g4. Well, I don't know, maybe it's still some chance for, for white. So if white manages to put the pawn on h6, so it's going to be defended with the rook. The rook c5, probably. Ah uh, well, and then h5 has to be anxious answered with h6 and don't see much of a chance. Because it's always going to be some contemplation. And then rook is superbly, superbly placed here on c5, not only defending, but as well attacking white's pawn. In case of a check, white can, now black can as well just play, just play king h7. No, there isn't any chance for Conero, so I think it's going to be over quite soon. The rook h5, so that's the current position. And still, okay, actually, uh, it's not what black has to do, but black might, might take the pawn as well, if white is not playing king g4. Yeah, really, it's hard to say. Okay, there is a, there is this rook p7 check where, but possibly every every move is possible. Uh, perhaps king g6 would be the worst out of out of possible moves because after king g4, at least 
black can get what he white can get what he wants to get at h5 then black simply can't take the pawn on h5 black has to move to h6 then it's check uh, check and still I'm not sure if it's enough to win but at least it will be huge achievement for white of course so what was played is actually king g4 rook c5 uh, king f3 rook h4 and this one surprisingly this one is finished first out of this in those three remaining games so it's a draw they just repeated position three times and in a couple of minutes we're gonna have another press conference here of our leaders who actually might be caught by Katerina Lagno if she wins against Antonetta Stefanova so let's let's check this game then mm, so a5 rook c6 was actually played and maybe that's a better way to handle the position at least the king is free now so king ah well it's not exactly like that so g6 rook a5 king g7 white played king e2 thought it was rook c3 rook g5 king f7 a5 rook c6 uh, black is running with the king to stop the pawn uh, but it looks hopeless to be honest so king e7 king d4 king d7 then rook d5 check so of course black cannot afford any any pawn in games so king d7 was the move then white's gonna play rook c5 when rook is moved king is gonna be put to king's gonna be put to c4 and slowly but surely then once again rook returns to g5 king is going to king is going to b5 well white is winning what can we do yeah king e7 rook c5 that's what happened and well and we have to we have to have a break as we going to see a press conference of our leaders Hampi Conero who drew his game mean white against Harika Jonavali. Mm -hmm.